What is going on all NWS viewers, Cody here, and this is going to be another shoe discussion or topic that I'm going to be talking about here, well of course it's already going to be topic because well I'm making this video for a reason. Um, before, you, before I start, at any point if you feel like I said something that you disagree with, please leave a comment down below, or if you want to talk about this after the video is all done, then let me know in the comment section down below. Also hit that like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Okay, there's a term that I've been seeing a lot of lately, particularly by one person, but you know what, I'll give the guy credit for uh, inspiring me to do this topic video. The term is overrated. Now, the term overrated is to think highly of someone when really they don't really deserve it. Now, here's an example. Roman Reigns. Now, before, wait, 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 before you guys shoot me because I'm talking about Roman Reigns, well, mind you... From the example of someone that doesn't, if someone wasn't watching wrestling and this is the first thing they heard. So let's say everyone, there's a Roman Reigns fanboy, right? <clears throat> oh my god, bro, I know you don't watch wrestling, maybe you see this guy, Roman Reigns, you know, he's a badass, he kicks ass, he picks people up, he slams them down, he punches them, he spears them, he beats them, he's the champ right now. And then the wrestling, not wrestling, that says, okay, I'll give it a shot. Watches him, this guy only does five moves. What's so good about him? That is the definition of overrated and an example in wrestling terminology perspective. Now, people say that Ambrose and Lesnar and all these other people that are amazing are overrated, right? How? I'd like to know how. That's simply my question to you people. How are some people like overrated? The other person that you really, 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 really think is overrated, leave it down in the comment section down below. This person has said that Ambrose and Lesnar are overrated. Okay, let's go back to the definition of overrated. Overrated is a guy who is thicked up highly by a lot of people, even though he doesn't really deserve it. Let's see. What does Dean Ambrose have? Dean Ambrose has the charisma. He has the mic skills. He has the in-ring skills. He has the lunatic side of him. He plays his character to perfection. Doesn't sound like overrated to me. Brock Lesnar. Let's see. He's strong. He's a beast. He runs through, eats people alive, and then leaves. Eats, sleeps, suplex for P, broke the streak, won the world title at SummerSlam, and John Cena after hitting 16 Germans. That's a little bit more understandable. Now, I like Brock. I like Brock and all. I do. But when people say he's the best thing, back up. What moves does Brock Lesnar know? Let's see. Suplex, F5, Kimura, suplex, 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 suplex. Oh, suplex. Hmm. See, with that, I can get why someone says Brock Lesnar is overrated because it's more of an understandable wrestler. Um, let's see. Another example, I'm gonna throw my guy out of the bus, AJ Styles. If someone says, oh, he's the greatest on the mic, mm -mm. no, he's not. He's not. He really isn't. You can't beat me? Uh, Styles, it's you can't see me. Don't shoot me for that. I'm just correcting what Styles did, okay? Don't shoot me for doing that. I'm never doing that again, okay? Scout's honor. Um, AJ Styles on the mic? That good. Is he better than Roman Reigns? Probably, yeah. Um, what else? Who else is overrated? Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is perfect. Uh, Cesaro. Maybe Mike. Maybe Mike. Uh, Jericho. Maybe. Maybe Jericho. I don't know. Um. W. I would say W is overrated. He is. People say, oh, he's a good submission wrestler, good technical wrestler. Not really. The guy knows 
Um, Cross arm breaker, a kick, a kick, a double stomp, a kick, a kick, maybe a German, a kick, a kick, a kick. Jeffrey is very overrated. He's not, he's not, he's okay on the mic. He's okay. I personally don't like him. Like, wrestler wise, eh. The real for me is just, eh. I mean, I'm sorry to see him back when he beat John Cena, yeah. But ever since then, it's just been like, eh? You know? It's just, when you feel you have that vibe that someone is overrated, you gotta look at what he can do and what he can't do. And what he can do overshadows what he can't do. Then you know what? He's not overrated. But, 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 if people say they're the best thing, and you see more negatives than positives, then yeah, that person may be a bit overrated or maybe not good at all, according to your opinion. But the main thing is here, the term overrated is being used a lot. It really is being used a lot. It's being thrown around here and there all over the place. It shouldn't be. Like the term buried and... Um, jobber and all that stuff again you gotta look at what a burial is what a jobber is a jobber is the guy who makes is there for the sole purpose of making a certain superstar look good you know um Zach Ryder is an example when he's on the main roster um let's see who else was a jobber JTG was a jobber after his prime and crime time but here's the thing though some jobbers now weren't jobbers years ago because they actually had a position and a role in WWE, but then they got jobbed out and then all this other stuff happened and who are they are today? Simple stuff. Uh, and then burial. A burial is something that is done that makes no sense and does not make the other guy look good at all. Example, John Cena and the Nexus. Yeah, that was a burial. Take the DDT on the outside, on the exposed concrete, which would normally give someone a giant ass nod on the head, if not kill them. And then Cena coming back and pinning Gabriel and making Wade Barrett submit. Yeah, burial. Mm. Damien Sand now cashing the money in the bank on John Cena. Cena went with one arm. Um, Cena and Kevin Owens. That's up for debate. I wouldn't call it a burial, honestly. I mean, Owens should have won the U.S. title at the very end, in my opinion, but, you know, oh well, at least Rollins did it and Cena didn't win the world title. Whew, not for that. Um, Wyatt Family, Mania 30, yeah. And 32, yeah, <laughs> burials right there. Those are. And you see a pattern, no, this isn't because I don't like John Cena, no. Because people say Cena buries people, and there's a lot of fact behind it. There, there is some fact to it. Rusev, again, that's up for debate. That is up for debate. I'm iffy on that. Somewhat. Uh, but the Nexus, without a doubt. Don't even try to argue with me on that one. That one was a burial. Um, Why Family Mini 30 and 32? Yeah. Um, let's see. Let me think of other John Cena examples. Because Cena's the main guy comes to mind. Him and Triple H. Oh, Triple H Booker T. Yeah. That was a burial. I would even consider the one they did with Kane. Oh, when the Katie Vick thing happened. Oh god, oh god, oh god, get that out of my head. I would consider that a burial because I would have put Kane over, honestly, in that situation. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, there are other terminologies that are in the wrestling world that get thrown around everywhere. Everywhere. Um, all in all, if you don't know the true definition of those words, don't use them. Don't use them. 
if you don't know the definition of the words, if you don't know how to apply it properly, if you don't know how to connect the dots, then don't use those words. Don't. Because at the end of the day, you make yourself look like a mark. And that makes you look stupid. And one more thing I want to touch on. Semi-multi-topic video. I want to talk about TNA. TNA. And see, this was brought to my attention because I'm on a fan page for TNA Impact Wrestling. Because, well, you know, why not? When I thought it was the real Impact. And the reason I liked it is because, oh, maybe I'll get news from this. Um, you know, they post stuff, they post news, they post, like, oh, what's your favorite champion design, mine's this, and all that kind of stuff, you know, all fine and good. There was a little comment that I want to retort to a little bit, just, just a little bit, not as an asshole, just stating the facts, when someone says, who cares, TNA sucks anyway, which, well, it's kind of true. But, you know, his response was, if TNA was such a joke, then we wouldn't have 35,000 likes on this page and 1.5 million likes. Okay. Back up. 35,000 likes. On a fan page? Don't clap. Don't clap. 1.5 million? Okay. Good. Um. Hmm. See, do you have over 10 million? 20? 30? However many Dota he has, I think 11 million, I believe. Last time I checked that, could be more, don't know. Um, does your page even compare to that? Mm -mm. We're talking over a million more fans different. And here's the thing, there are people, I bet, at least half of the TNA fans right now are t fans of both WWE and TNA, and I swear to God, if one of those freaking TNA fan members that I know in Facebook comments down below, you made yourself look like a jackass. Goodbye. See ya. But no, I'm talking about the ones that like both TNA and WWE. For me, I like wrestling. If it's wrestling, I'll watch it. If it's a random match in New Japan, and I really haven't watched New Japan before, except for the Will or Shape Free, and um... Uh, Ricochet match. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was amazing. Um, <laughs> but... I could see teenagers going down the drain. And I've been watching them ever since Kurt Angle came in. Because that's when I got my attention. I'm like, wait, where's Kurt Angle at? I look over there and I see this wrestling. I see a ring and all that. I'm like, oh, wrestling, awesome. Let's watch this. And the first thing I saw was Kurt Angle up here at TNA. And I'm like... What? I'm like, nice. And I've been watching it ever since then. So I've been watching it for... 10 years? I've been in DNA for 10 years. Well, was. <laughs> uh, I'm not too big on it right now. <sighs> Do you compare to those likes? Do you not see that TNA now compared to tours back in 2008, 2009 is a joke. It is a joke. It is. It became a joke when Spike TV booted it out. And, it re and I still give it a chance. I'm like, okay, hopefully TNA is good. Destination America came along. Nice, nice, nice. Gets kicked out four months afterwards. <laughs> I gave up right then. The moment I heard that news, I gave up. I'm just like, oh. Well, I'm done defending you guys. Uh, good luck. You know, you know, they're somehow doing well on Pop TV. Somehow they have a Slam Anniversary pay per view coming up tomorrow. Hopefully that goes well. The Hardy Boys match should be good. The Broken Matt Hardy character, I'm just. Uh, it's intriguing, but. <laughs> God. Um. We have Andrew Edward on there. Really, really nice. Um, oh, good God. And there's two people out there defend. <laughs> and you know what? You could defend TNA if you want. You know, that's all fine and good. But to people that say TNA is better than WWE, 
here's the thing, right? They don't have the fan base. They don't have the production that they used to have. They don't have the attention. They don't have an own network. They don't have the millions and millions and millions of dollars. In fact, last I heard, Dick's was running out of money and they had to go to a basement. Practically, or a warhouse, or warhouse, or whatever they want to call it. They're going downhill, and you TNA fanboys that are jerking your cocks off to TNA need to accept the fact that TNA is going down. Sooner or later, they're going to go down. Maybe they're doing okay right now. They had to cut back on stuff. They got booted out of their building that they had before because they're running out of money. They need, they're going to go down. Now, they want to stay up. Boat, I heard a rumor a while ago that Ring of Honor owner was interested in buying TNA. Dixie Carter needs to let that happen because that way you get Ring of Honor stars, Ring of Honor people could control it, Ring of Honor, you know how good that's going. That's going pretty good. It's not as high as WWE, but you know what? Doing pretty damn well. And be a lot better off, and heck, you know? Have those two come together along with the stars from New Japan that come over to Ring of Honor every show, every once in a while, and all that. Every week, practically, I think. There's at least one New Japan star that goes over there. Do you have the ability to compete with WWE? You do. But. But, but, but. Will she do that? Will Dixie Carter do that? No. I don't see it. Point is, the guy's comment may have been smart, or smart aleck, I should say. But the guy's right. Who really cares about TNA? Not a whole lot of people do. I'm not saying no one does. I'm just saying not a whole lot of people care about TNA. You little fanboys can comment all you want saying, Oh, TNA is better than WWE because this, 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 and I can come up with 10 more reasons from you. To the fact of why WWE is better than TNA, like it or not, it's a fact. Better financial, better talent there. You may not realize all the talent that's coming to WWE from TNA. It's about time we got payback. <laughs> um, they have their own WWE Network, which making them even more money. Can you go back and watch every single TNA episode? No. No. If you're lucky enough to find them all on YouTube by some miracle, good for you. Maybe you make the TNA network. Make some money off that. Buy TNA from Dick Scott and make it better because you probably could do a better job than what Dick Scott is doing. There's a lot of other reasons. Ratings are better on a Raw than an Impact. Yeah. SmackDown's going to be going to Tuesdays. Gonna go live. And when does Tina come on Tuesdays? Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. What shall we do? One thing that's smart about those, whenever WWE tries to jump around and trying to change their day to TNA's day, they switch around. So they'll probably do that. I, I've got faith in them to do that. If they don't, then, well, they can kiss their company goodbye. That's all I'm going to say. They're going to kiss their company goodbye. Because no fans probably show up. Okay, maybe fans will show up for TNA. I will take that back. But SmackDown will get the better ratings. And boop, TNA right out of business. Put in the final nail in the coffin that is TNA Impact Wrestling. And then all those great wrestlers, they have great wrestlers at TNA, don't get me wrong. Drew Galloway, Lashley, The Hardys, EC3, Mike Bennett, um, Jade, Gil Kim, all those people, The Wolves, James Storm, all those will go the separate ways. James Storm might come back to WWE, maybe a few others might come back to WWE, Mike Bennett probably will go back to Ring of Honor. And New Japan and the rest probably go in the indies. You know? That's why I'm calling it right now. All in all, 
If you love something that much, you gotta let it go. I let go of TNA. I did. I am still subscribed to their YouTube channel. Yes, I do look around and see the little snippets of footage and all that because, you know, it's not like a minute, you know, why not? Um, but I'm accepting the fact that TNA is going to be gone. And I'm okay with that because the talent there deserves a lot better than what they're getting right now. A lot better. They deserve to be in bigger crowds in front of bigger stages like WrestleMania. The talent there that I'm talking about, the Hardys, Mike Bennett, Lashley Galloway, Storm, EC3, Jade, uh, there are a few others, Andrew Everett, Trevor Lee, the Wolves, um, a few others as well that are over there. They deserve better. They deserve a lot better than what the treatment they're getting at TNA. And eventually they're going to realize that. And then they're going to leave. And that's honestly the smart move they could do. Is just leave TNA. But that's all I'm going to say on the subject. I know there's probably going to be TNA fanboys. Be like oh no. Why are you disrespecting TNA? I'm just pointing out the facts. Sorry if you get all ass hurt. It butt hurt. But it is what it is. So I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Shoot that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next shoot. Peace.